Hello everyone, let's look at this integral here. And so sometimes when we first see this integral, we'll feel like, okay, so this is an integral for a trick stop. And yes, it has the form of a trick stop, but then it's unnecessary. I will just, just say that this is a basic integral because um, it doesn't require any special techniques for doing it like trick stop. We do not really need trick stop to integrate this function. And then, so how do we do that? Um, let's just recall something here. So we know that the derivative of tangent inverse or the arctangent function of x is actually equal to one over one plus x squared. And then what I want to say is that um, whatever x that we have here, then we are going to put that x right here. So actually, I should really just highlight that color right here. And so let me say that that's x here, and then that would be our x here. Okay. And then as you can see here, this integral is actually similar to the form of this 1 over 1 plus x squared. So that means it may tell us that, okay, so as long as we can manipulate this integral into this form right here, I mean, into this form right here, then we can actually say that, okay, so it's antiderivative, maybe it's just something involving the tangent inverse function. And then the question is, how do we manipulate this one? It's actually not too difficult, it's going to be simple. So first, we actually do not really need the five in the numerator because as you can see in this form, the numerator is a one. So if we can turn this five into a one, then we're one step forward, right? In turning this form into that form. Now, how do we turn the five into a one? The easiest way is to actually just bring the five outside the integral because that's a, just a constant that's being multiplied to the function. And so first step, we can actually just bring the five outside. So it becomes five times the integral of one. And then we have the seven plus the seven x squared and then times dx. Okay, so far so good. And then now there was a seven here. There is also a seven here, but then we want a one and then the coefficient of the x squared should also be a one. So one way that we can turn, we can remove the seven is to factor out the seven from both turns. And we'll see what happens from there. So if we do that, then we are going to get what? Five times the integral of one. And then we factor out the seven then it's going to look like seven times one plus x squared and then dx. And then as you can see here, this seven is actually also a constant that's being multiplied to our function. We can actually write this function, right? We can actually write this function, this current expression right here as the integral of one over seven times one over one plus x squared dx. Okay, so instead of keeping it as a, a fraction, we actually can break it down into a product of two fractions. One over seven, that's this one over seven times, and then one over one plus x squared. And then, so as you can see here, this one over seven is really just a constant that can also be moved outside the integral. So if we do that, then we are going to get five over the seven. And then the integral. Now, just the rest of the stuff, which is just the one over one plus x squared dx. So we get one over. one plus x squared. Okay, so now good things happens, as you can see here. Isn't this integral exactly the same thing? I mean, isn't this integrand exactly the same thing as this one over one plus x squared? So now if we go backward, we find it's antiderivative, then we are going to get that turn into a tangent inverse 
Yeah, so now we have the final answer. What is the final answer here? The final answer will just be 5 over 7, and then tangent inverse of x, and then plus the constant of integration. Yeah, so that's why we do not really need to do a trick sub. We can do a trick sub, but then it's going to give you the same answer. But then this process will be a lot faster to, to do, OK? But um, it only works for certain integral here. So this integral must have the form of 1 over 1 plus x squared. If there was an x at the top, then it's not the same situation anymore. OK, so make sure that you pay attention to all the details when you're doing this kind of problem. OK, so that's it for this problem. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and then give me some support. And then also please click like and leave me some comments. And then also please check out my other videos here. And then uh, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you next time.